Emily and Spencer would like to welcome you to this celebration of their love. Friends, we have been invited here to share with them a very significant moment in their lives. In the time they have been together, their love and understanding for each other has grown and matured. Now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Thank you for being here to share this important day. The time that you share with them and the memories that will be created will forever be treasured. So Spencer and I have been going to school and playing soccer since we were 12. I owe a lot to Spencer. He was the one, contrary to the beliefs of Gina Fish, who introduced me to my wife 18 years ago. Now Emily and I don't have quite as long of a history. I've met her twice. <clears throat> but in those two meetings, we really bonded over our mutual disdain for the posted speed limits. <laughs> and we share the natural affinity that twins always have for twins and the, the people that have to deal with them. As you know, Emily has a twin sister, Beth, and I am the father of twin girls. One thing that twins all have forced upon them is sharing. Sharing rooms, wounds, spoons, clothes, cars, and everything else that doesn't rhyme so well. So Emily, enjoy this day. It'll be one of the few that you have that will be about you and only you. And tomorrow you have to go and share everything with Spencer. <laughs> At the beginning of last summer, Spencer called me up out of the blue and said, hey, let's have a barbecue at your house. I want you to meet my future wife. I said, congratulations. You know, I do weddings now. You want me to marry you guys? And for those of you that don't know me, the fact that I'm up here right now is a testament to how trusting Spencer really is. <laughs> I could go on for a while and really roast him, but I'll leave that up to Adam later. <clears throat> Spencer has always treated what life like a fine wine that should be drank slowly and enjoy. Whether it's taking extra time to graduate from college or, <laughs> or 37 years to get married. It's evident that good things come to those who wait. <clears throat> Emily is the perfect complement to Spencer's laid-back attitude with her approach that slow and steady has never won any race. <laughs> Together they create the perfect balance of intensity and calm. As you stand here at this moment, know that love, loyalty, and trust are the foundations for a happy and lasting marriage. As you strive to fulfill the commitment you make here, your life together will be enriched with joy, satisfaction, and peace. In all the events of your life, hold fast to the vision and promise of this, your wedding day. Now, Emily. Will you take Spencer to be your husband? Will you continue to be loving and caring and comfort him, to protect your love for him, cherish him, honoring and respecting him, and your promises to him throughout all the events of your lives together? And do you promise to keep loving him even if he accidentally takes you down another set of class five rapids? <laughs> Spencer, will you take Emily to be your wife? Will you continue to be loving and caring, to comfort her, to protect her, your love for her, cherish her, honoring and respecting her, and your promises to her throughout all the events of your lives together? And do you promise to keep loving her, even if she can't stay in the stinking boat? <laughs> you have reached a turning point in your lives. There's a reason we go through all this when we get married. It's because it's one of the two times in your life when everything changes immediately. The other one, I'm sure, will happen in about a year or so. <laughs> Usually time grabs you by the hand and directs you where to go, and the change in your life happens almost too slowly to notice. You look back years later, and you can see the change, but there is no point where the change actually happened. With marriage, the change is instantaneous. You are now responsible for the happiness, well-being, and quality of life for another human. You share not only your money, but your time. You come together as one entity, psychologically connected, no matter the physical distance between you. 
No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love, patience, dedication, perseverance, through talking and listening and trying to understand, through helping and supporting and believing in each other. Through learning to forgive, learning to respect and appreciate your differences, learning to make the important things matter and let go of the rest. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you have made to begin your new life together as husband and wife. Adam, may I have the rings? I, Emily, take you, Spencer, to be my friend, my lover, the father of my children, and my husband. I will be yours in times of plenty and in times of want, in times of sickness and in times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph. This ring is my promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, to comfort and encourage you, and to stay with you for all my life. Spencer, take you, Emily, to be my friend, my lover, the mother of my children, and my wife. <laughs> I, will, I will be yours in times of plenty and in times of want. in times of sickness and times of health, in times of joy and in times of sorrow, in times of failure and in times of triumph. This ring is my promise to cherish and respect you, to care and protect you, to comfort and encourage you, and to stay with you for all my life. It is here that Emily and Spencer would like to take time to express their appreciation to their families for what they have gained in their times with them. Thank you to both families for your love, support, and support. And as a token, token of their love and affection, they would like to present their mothers with roses. Now, by the power vested in me by the Church of Wishful Thinking, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. It is my great pleasure to introduce for the first time as husband and wife, Emily and Spencer Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> 